I'ma get the drum, cause it look like stories But they bear me, used to fight for fun Go and get my brother from the alley, he a fussy one Never run from hoes, or no niggas If we ever had to call it, we stay posted with them sticks Go and hit a lick, me and Stacy always with the shits Used to walk in and he started running up like Michael Vick Started smoking dope, fucking when I barely turned 15 Yeah, that's late in Florida, cause we mostly dying person on the other side of the screen if you don't know who I am and you're new to my channel my name is Sarah Fiatu but if you're not new here and you are a returning subscriber welcome back to all the besties and the girlies I hope you guys are having a splendid day evening morning afternoon with the girl I don't know what time you watching this but you watching this video so like hey so um this is kind of like technically the first video I'm filming in 2024 and you probably like girl it's damn near March and you haven't picked up the camera since I told y'all I'm a work in progress I'm not where I want to be right now but your girl is working we're progressing okay you can plant an apple seed and come back the next day and expect the whole entire fruit tree like that ain't gonna work you know like i don't even know what i'm saying but like to kind of tie in for today's video it's kind of like we're gonna be exiting my lazy girl era era of me staying in bed to like damn near 1 2 3 p.m and not doing anything we're, we're, we're not doing that okay so like in this video i'm kind of just gonna be like building like the routine i want to do and just being a lot more productive and just making the most out of my day but yeah so it's also kind of gonna be a monthly reset as well because today is mm, it's wednesday february 28th and it's currently around 12 30. i do have a to-do list of everything i want to do for today so i need to clean the bathroom finish laundry edit a tiktok slash reel and cook dinner first what i'm gonna do is i'm going to make breakfast because y'all i am so hungry and like also wanted to do a get ready with me today but because i was planning on going out to lunch with my bestie but like she low-key canceled on me so we're gonna go tomorrow and i'm gonna do more of a chit chat get ready with me for that because there's all the things that had happened in my life like your homegirl graduated your girl got a tv in her room like we really uh we really uh still don't got a job well, I did have a job, but then I quit the job like three weeks afterwards, but So like let's go and head into the kitchen
I finish eating. It's like 3.06 right now. And um, if I'm being honest, complete transparent with y'all, I don't feel motivated at all to really film today and to do stuff today. But something that I really need to learn this year is discipline. And discipline is doing the things you need to do because you know you gotta do them. I don't feel like cleaning the bathroom, but the bathroom going gotta get clean. Yeah, so I'm just gonna just like get myself up and force myself to do it. I know I'm eventually I'm gonna feel a lot better doing it. Even though like part of me low-key hates cleaning, when I'm like in the mood of cleaning, I just want to clean everything. So I just need to start and once I start, I'll be okay. I did get myself a new tripod. So you know, I got this tripod. I'm gonna unbox it for y'all because I think because I'm gonna be using this tripod when I'm like filming the montage of me cleaning the bathroom and stuff. So yeah. Like, I don't want to clean my room. Like, I don't, I don't. But, like, I know I'm going to feel worse if, like, I'm at the end of the day. I'm just like, I really didn't do anything. Oh, yay. It does come. It comes with the phone thingy. So, this is the tripod. And it comes in, like, a little bag, which is annoying. Okay, this is, like the thing you put on the tripod to put your like your device on i don't know if you're interested in this tripod i'll put a link to it in the description box so this is how the tripod is looking like right now i don't have it fully extended but this is pretty much the height of it when it's somewhat extended so what i'm gonna do now is just head off to the bathroom and clean the bathroom <laughs> Take me back to Georgia, back to Atlanta Money, I'm present to last I'm a fly Priscilla, I'll just be better Don't mess my eyes, but that last I can tell that she loves me Nigga can't help but to touch Smack it round a bit Then sip on some bubble Hope I'm not doing too much Strange new addictions Pick up on the road Change my opinions And change all my flaws Change my approach No more loving these hoes And when it rains it pours Hey you make me feel so primal That's what I am I'm just a man Take that pussy, drop it in my making gourmet meals with Sarah. Somebody needs to wipe up our Cicera. Wipe me up, boy. So boom, it's like around 6.40 something. I finished cleaning the bathroom and what I'll be doing now is cooking dinner. And something I realize every single time I cook, I always do a montage of it but i feel like some of y'all really want to know like how does your girl truly get down in the kitchen for this part of the video i'll be doing a little segment of me cooking so right now i'm gonna be cooking up ribs and then i have some potatoes i'm gonna just chop up and throw in the air fryer that's gonna be din din for today but if you do hear noise in the background we currently have the air fryer 
going on with the first Bachelorette. And also, one thing that I've been thinking about, so you know how like all celebrities and people of influence usually have a name for like their fan base or your supporters, right? I've been calling all the besties and the girlies. So I feel like a lot of the like influencers like they use like they call like their fan base like besties and girlies. And I've been thinking about this for a while, but I wanna start calling all Fifi. Like how the Fifi's doing. Like you know, my my name on the channel is Sarah Fiatu. Fiatu Fifi. I don't know, do do y'all wanna be called Fifi? Or do y'all like besties and girlies? I feel like everybody uses those two terms, you know? If, if you think I should call like my supporters the Fifi's, comment down below I am a Fifi in the chat. Like, hi Fifi, y'all are the Fifi, 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 Fifi. Anyways. This is going to be a very real and uncut moment, but yeah. So boom, we got like these types of ribs over here. They're not really like your traditional ribs. I don't know what type of part of the pork they get this from, but it's almost like individual ribs. Okay, the seasoning that we'll be using to whip up these ribs are, we got this last mom on Cajun seasoning. I asked my aunt from the States to bring up here in Canada because we don't have this in Canada. And it's literally almost done. We have like these, this like, like seasoning mixture my mom made. She calls it pork seasoning. But yes, yeah, just go to your local grocery store and like, any type of meat seasoning that you could find. I feel like those, those Montreal steak seasoning would be good. We have like this barbecue spice mix here. Oregano, black pepper. We got some chili powder. And of course, you can't forget about garlic powder. And then something I like to use as a binder, I like to use mustard. And if you hate mustard, trust me, you don't taste it in there. This is just a good way thing to use to bind the meat. Yeah, I'm gonna be using all of these seasonings over here. And do not ask me for measurements. I don't measure anything. I'm black. I don't measure when I cook. Okay. Anyways. And every time I'm back in the city, every bitch with it in the dinner run up. Young nigga, young nigga. Your friends bad too, then don't come with you. And we like bitches with their own shit. We don't like gold diggers. So this is how the ribs are looking like all nice and seasoned. Yeah, so while those are cooking up, I'm gonna start off making my potatoes. Small potatoes, small potatoes, small potatoes, small potatoes. So these are the potatoes I'll be using. These are red potatoes. I know they kind of look old, but yeah. I'm just gonna cut these into like quarters. I'm not making a lot because like every time I make a lot of potatoes, like no one really ends up eating them. But I'm gonna eat them because y'all know me. I love me some potatoes. And the seasonings I'll be using are kind of similar to the ones I used for the chicken, but I'll be using some of the Slap Your Mama seasoning, some of the chili powder, I'll be using a little bit of basil, some garlic powder, black pepper, and some oregano. Hello y'all, I just finished Din Din and watching and I watched the issues and stuff so this is how the food's looking like. I just have my ribs there, my potatoes, and then some green beans that my sister made the other day. And yeah. And what I'm probably gonna do afterwards eating is I'm gonna edit a, a couple TikToks that I have because I want to be more consistent on other platforms. So yeah, I'm gonna just see y'all later. 
um, it's been like two days, but today, me and my best friend Daniela, we will be going out to our regular um boba shop, and then we're gonna get some ramen, and afterwards we're going to be going to my best friend's church. So yeah, um, I'm gonna do a little bit of a get ready with me. I've been meaning to do this get ready with me for so long. I wanted to make this like a separate video, but at this point, this get ready with me is just gonna be included in the monthly reset vlog. Honestly, for my makeup, I'm gonna keep it super simple super light probably just eyebrows and lashes the usual. and y'all my makeup my makeup oh lord i need whole new makeup i need a new foundation new concealer i need new everything the way i'm just scraping from what i have left but like definitely within the next week i'm gonna go hygiene shopping and i'm gonna make that into a whole separate video and in my hygiene shopping i'm gonna buy some new makeup because i actually need it anyways but comment down below some nice good drugstore makeup because i will be getting everything from the drugstore because yeah your homegirl is kind of poor for this get ready with me i felt like since it's been like really it's been so long since i talked to y'all and really gave you guys like an uh, accurate update on what's been happening in my life and all that stuff this get ready with me this chit chat has been long needed well first off to say i graduated college <laughs> your homegirl got her college diploma it literally like came in the mail last friday i got my college diploma so like it's real it's it's real like your girl really graduated and i should be having like my ceremony sometime in june but yeah but the chapter of school is like it's officially done part of me is kind of sad and like excited lost and confused because like that means i'm really in adulthood right now and adulthood is kind of scary like literally every single decision i make from now on is going to have a significant impact to my future so and i also did get a job that I quit from three weeks after. Let me explain to y'all the story. So I got this job at this marketing firm. I'm putting marketing firm in quotation marks cause really, it really, really wasn't a marketing firm. Well, it kinda is, it's like, a direct sales it's more so direct sales that they do so pretty much what i would do for my job is that these companies and charities they would reach out to us to like sell a product or to raise donations for the charity what the campaign that my office were, was doing was a charity so pretty much we would go to either grocery stores around the gta okay when i say gta that means the greater toronto area because i know I have American viewers and you don't know what GTA is. Y'all gonna probably gonna be, be thinking, girl, you talking about Grand Theft Auto? No. We go to grocery store in the cities or like in different cities, so like in the GTA, like in the area surrounding Toronto. And pretty much we would go there, set up a little table, and for, I kid you not, from like damn near 11, 10.30 to 11, to like 6 30 7 30 at night you're just asking people hey would you like to make a donation do you want a donation 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 and like honestly it was not what i thought the job would be originally like when like during the interview process when like the um the the boss was talking about oh we have these events that we do i thought these events were like weekly or monthly like usually we're in the office we're brainstorming we're discussing marketing plans that we can do what can we do to help this um company with their sales and with their donations and all that stuff and then boom every week or every month we have these big events pretty sure if you've ever been to a grocery store either at the exit you have some type some people have some type of table where they're collecting donations for a charity and that's what i was pretty much doing and just to let you know it's not a scam like what pretty much happens is that that charity pays us through their marketing budget so all the money that we raise at the event goes towards what we say it will go towards so let's say for doing like research on diabetes all the money we raise at the event would go towards the research on diabetes and the diabetes association pays us through their marketing 
budget so yeah and like honestly there are some positives about the job like i really like the people there like the people were really nice and stuff like that and another great thing about the job is how there's like a lot of opportunities for you to grow and get promoted the reason why i quit is because it was really taking up literally all of like my day so we would get to the office at nine leave for our events at around 10 o'clock 10 30 we reach at our event like 11 depending on where you are because sometimes you can be like 45 minutes away from the office so you would have to drive 45 minutes to get to your event and stuff like that set up be there for like eight hours to like around 6 37 drive 45 minutes back to the office to count the money and do your cash out and then since i didn't live in that city it really took me like 15 20 minutes to go home so i need to either get an uber or call someone at like 8 30 at night to pick me up so it was practically like a 12 hour day even more than 12 hours because i have to wake up at like 6 37 leave my house at around 7 30 so i can catch the go train to the office so it was just a lot it was just it just took up so much of my day like and there's sometimes you're gonna have to work these like fundraising events on your own so there were times where like i'm like in mississauga all by myself at a grocery store online by itself asking people for donations it honestly it literally it just wasn't it wasn't what i thought it would be and like it just it just took up all of my time in my day and i knew for a fact that i'm only here for the money i didn't have time to do youtube because like on my days off all I would want to do is just relax and prepare myself for the work week. I didn't want to set up a camera and film a video and then edit it for like 8 hours. You know, I wanted to relax. I started the job like January 2nd and then I quit on like January 20... 27th. So like the whole thing kind of just got me thinking about, okay, I know I want to make this social media thing happen. And that means that I'm gonna need to put in the work. Yeah, your girl is pretty much jobless right now. And I know God got me, God provided for me for 2023 while I was broke and had no job. So I know he's gonna do it again. And I know that this year, 2024, is not gonna be a repeat of what happened last year. But at my church, the theme for the year is like the season of growth and i feel like that relates to me so much i honestly i want to grow i want to be better i want to do better i want to be better just in almost every area of my life and my discipline and my fitness my health my um financial i just want to grow in every area of my life and the verse that god told me to focus on for this year is matthew 6 33 which pretty much says seek the kingdom of god above all else live righteously and everything will be added to you which pretty much what it means to me is that sarah focus on god focus on growing closer to god do your best to follow his commandment and everything that you desire everything that you need will be provided and one of the hard things when it comes to growth is that growth it does not happen overnight as much as i would love it to it does not happen overnight you can't plant an apple seed and the next day come back and expect the whole entire tree to be grown you feel me growth is a process sometimes it's a slow process but it's a process that involves consistency and discipline and those are two things that i'm really trying to work on so something that caused me to just be in a constant cycle of like laziness and sin i did not trust god's power enough that it could change me it could transform me and part of me was relying on my own strength and the thing is i was thinking about how i won't be able to do it on my own i can't do it on my own but the truth is i can't do it on my own and that's why i need jesus that's why i need jesus every day and jesus has the power to, to change me and to transform me in order for me to grow and to break bad habits something i was watching earlier today i was watching um emmy moore and if you know her she has a podcast called save not soft i highly suggest you guys go and um watch her she has such a good podcast and i was watching um 
one of her recent ones, which was your struggle as a setup. She said how like, how there's some situations that you are going to need God to get out of. There's some situations where you can't do it on your own and you are gonna need God. And I feel like that's the season that I'm in, that I just need to trust in God, trust in his power, trust in his timing, and he's gonna bring me out of this season so I can be in my next season where my bank account gonna be fat, my waist gonna be snatched, my ass gonna be fat. Even though this year kind of had a rough-ish start, I'm not where I want to be, but I know- Where is my Even though I know that I'm not where I want to be right now, I know that every day I am growing. Every day I am closer to that breakthrough than I was a day ago. And I just feel like I'm in a season where I just need to focus on God and trust in Him and just do my best. Because the thing is, God does not require you to be perfect. He knows you're going to mess up. He knows that you're going to stumble and fall. But the important thing is that you get back up and you try again. Even though, like, I'm not where I want to be right now, there's like, what, nine more months left of this year? That's a whole pregnancy. Like, I could get pregnant today and give birth by December. I'm not saying I'm going to get pregnant because, like, do y'all see a ring on my finger? Also, when it comes to growth, where, okay, where did I, I forgot where I saw this from, from a devotional I was doing. It's a devotional called Reset on the version Bible app. I suggest you guys go do that devotional. It's really good. And the person was talking about how when it comes to growth, what you need to do first is change your mindset. Because a lot of times when it comes to growth, we tend to focus on the outward appearance. You're gonna, you know, eat healthy, go to the gym, be productive, yada, yada, yada. And because you didn't change your mindset first and only change the outwardly action, those habits that you're trying to build, they're only gonna last for like a week. But when you actually change your mindset and start thinking more positively and thinking that you can do it and having a more disciplined mindset, that's gonna eventually translate into your actions like what's the point of like you changing the body of a car and how a car looks when the engine's broken that doesn't make sense you know you're gonna change what's wrong in the inside first get to the root of the problem and then once you get to the root of the problem everything from the outward is gonna change and something i also really want to implement more when it comes to my faith is fasting I feel like I want to try do fasting, whether that is social media, whether that's 3 day fast, 12 day fast, whatever it is, whatever God's calling me to do. Because I feel like fasting is really going to help me when it comes to like not giving into the desires of my flesh and being and moving by the spirit. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at in life right now. I know that growing hurts. That's why they call it growing pain. But I'm gonna be victorious when I come out of this season, come out of this cycle. But in the name of Jesus, I am victorious. In the name of Jesus, I am set free. The finished work of the cross has covered all my past and my present and future sins. In the name of Jesus, I am set free. In the name of Jesus, the chains are broken over my life. In Jesus' name, amen. The look is practically done. I just need to throw on some lashes. And I'm wearing doing these um these nuclei lashes right here. I got these from Amazon. But yeah, um, I'm gonna play some music. Yo, I've been loving Sunday, bro. If if you know Sunday, I love Sunday. Mwah, mwah, mwah. My heart is one, my treasure, yes, my treasure, so you're not, your love and kingdom love my sins, your grace covers me, Lord, the king of glory is on his way, have mercy on my generation, they just need a seed of faith, you always know where to go, come on, bro,
wrinkles on me, wrinkles that how good you are. In the name of Jesus, I'm victorious. In the name of Jesus. So, this is how I'm looking like right now. I added a bandana on because I thought it was so cute. And I'm putting some perfume on. I'm wearing this Bit Bit perfume right here. I forgot what it's called, but I like the smell of it. And then my outfit today, I'm just wearing this black long sleeve with this black zip up sweater. And then for pants, I'm just wearing like these like champion sweat pants, cargo style pants. And I'm gonna wear it with, I think I'm gonna wear it with my panda dunks. So yeah, that's just how I look like today. I'm about to meet up my friend for boba and then we're gonna get some ramen and then we're gonna head off to church so i'll just see you guys when i see you guys why do i feel like they always play the song they do <laughs> We have the exact five songs on repeat. <laughs> Y'all, the lighting is so bad, but completely fine. Forgot I'm vlogging. Bye! Look who's here! Oh, that's, that's Daniela's brother. You don't see him often. And you're not gonna see him often. But yeah, we're just chilling. Oh, see, I thought I was gonna get a boba drink here, but we're gonna get a boba from a place that's like right down the road. And then we're gonna go and go to this ramen place afterwards. I'm excited. I really shouldn't be eating this. Girl, I told you, you lactose intolerant. Yeah, I should feel my stomach. Yeah, girl, you better stop. I might have to go poop boom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, so when your eyebrow went up, how do you do that? When your eyebrow goes up? Wait, did? But yeah, um, there's really not much to say. Um, um, yeah, we'll see y'all when we get our boba at the different place and then when we get to ramen. So yeah, it is 4.27. We need to catch the bus at 6.55 to head over to church. I get the hand pulled, the hand pulled noodle spicy with beef. Mm -hmm. That's everything? Yep. Yeah. Well, hi y'all. We yeah. made it to a um, ramen. I'm the only one ordering because everyone else here is poor. I have no job. I got no money. Because tonight will be the night that I will fall for you over again. Don't let me change my mind. When I come here, this is what I usually get, the handmade noodle, like it is spicy with beef. It's real good. The portion is actually really big too. Y'all, look at my food. It looks so good. Y'all, this is really so good. So they have bok choy, they got beef, then they got the noodles. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, so Bloom, we gonna, we gonna eat this together. Okay. How are we didn't get anything because you know they're poor. Wrong. That is wrong. Okay. That's okay. So like the tapioca at the bottom of it being circled is like square. Which kind of makes the texture of it a little bit weird. I don't know, I give this like a cool seven. I mean, if this is the regular, what the hell is the large? It's big for a regular. Anyway, I'll see y'all when we're at church.
Hey you guys, it's Saturday and it's almost midnight. I also want to show you guys my iPad because it's really pretty and um, I did um kind of fix the layout of it. Anyway, so these stickers, this one's just the Apple one and then these two the hearts. I got it from every jewel when I ordered like my necklaces and in this case it's from Amazon. And then boom, the lock screen is just like this aura color and then boom this is how the home screen is looking like and then over here i just have it for like the verse of the day when you put it in landscape mode that's how it looks like and then this is how the next screen looks like and then this is how it looks like in portrait mode yeah let's let's open up my planner i made this planner y'all it says season of growth 2024 planner this is like a cover I did for February. I didn't really plan much February, but. And then this is the one for March that I made. And yeah, I kinda, in the morning, I did plan a little bit. The stuff in pink is stuff for YouTube. Uh, and then this is just like the weekly layout. I'm gonna fill this out on Sunday tomorrow. But yeah, and that's the planner. If you guys want this planner, let me know. If you guys are actually interested in purchasing it, I may put it up on Etsy for like five, ten dollars. I'm not gonna make it too, too expensive. If someone's willing to purchase this, let me know in the comments down below. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoy this monthly reset video. If you made it this far into the video, um, what should you comment? Comment down below midnight. If you made it into this video, comment down below midnight, okay? Remember that you are strong, you are beautiful, you are so loved, and you are fearless in the powerful and mighty name of Jesus. I love you guys so, so, so much, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Mwah. And that girl got a good deal I knew we never had a baby